Happy Friday morning, everybody. We at the Hampton Inn, Knoxville, Tennessee. Damn rain followed us. Old dumpster down there. The rain followed us, but it's gonna be gone and we're looking good. And today's coffee with Kenny is just about the rain. I had a friend say, uh, what do you think now that Bristol has gone away from the dirt? <laughs> so that's the subject. Bristol Motor Speedway does not have the dirt anymore. And I said, well, number one, it's raining outside, so I'm glad we don't have dirt on Bristol this time. Rain's going to quit in a little bit. It's going to be a beautiful weekend at Bristol Motor Speedway. But it leads me to this. The dirt on the Bristol Motor Speedway was a pleasant experience for me. And it served its purpose. The dirt on the Bristol Motor Speedway, it served its purpose. The fans were like, I don't like Bristol anymore. So they said, okay, we're gonna put dirt on it. And boy, it was an exciting two years. Uh, they had the late model races there. They had, you know, modifieds and sportsman cars and bang bangers and, um, just think of all the great race car drivers all over America and even the world got to bring their dirt car to the Bristol Motor Speedway and fulfill their dream. Maybe they felt like they could never make it to NASCAR, but by God, I can take my dirt car. Now, listen, my dear friend, Kyle Steffens, I gave him my invitation you know, it was invitation only for the UMP Dirt Modifieds. And uh, I said, Kyle, I've already raced. I've won a lot at Bristol in the Xfinity Series. Sat on, set quick time in the Square D Cup car. I said, here, take my invitation, go to Bristol, fulfill your dream. The number one thing I heard back from all those dirt racers was, my God, this place is fast. I said, yeah, that's on dirt. You should do it on, on, on concrete. <laughs> so anyway, the dirt on Bristol served its purpose. And then if you remember by the third year, Kyle Larson was even like, we need to go back to concrete. <laughs> so I believe, I believe even Marcus Smith, the owner said, you know what? Three years of dirt for the first, you know, the March, April uh, races. We're done with this experiment. I've never asked Marcus Smith how much money it costs to put dirt on, on Bristol, but if you know, respond right here. <laughs> All that work, I, I'd like to think that they worked hard for you, you know, because it was, it, it was a period in time in NASCAR where what are we gonna do to please these fans? They don't like nothing anymore. I'll never forget that experiment, the great experiment, the great experiment. Now we got the Roval at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Now we got stage racing. Uh, we got points for stages. But I gotta tell you, when you look at baseball, They've got the time clock now. The batter's got to get in the box. You don't get any time. They got bigger bases. You look at hockey now, they got, you know, they got three on three in overtime, and then they got the shootout. Uh, and look, we documented it time after time. Football is the great American game. It's the only game where you tell, you tell everybody, look, we're going to charge you $1,000 a year to watch football. And all of you are like, we're, I can't wait. <laughs> we're gonna charge you to watch football. We don't care, where do we send our money? <laughs> football is the granddaddy of them all. All of you, all of you, you love football and so do I. But uh, anyway, respond right here. What did you think of the great dirt experiment? Will we remember that little blip in time? Dirt on Bristol. Of course, we all remember about 20, 30 years ago, they put dirt on Bristol. 
Remember that? 20, 30 years ago, they, they had already put dirt on Bristol. But I think NASCAR, I know NASCAR's in a great spot now. Uh, TV ratings are through the roof, and we're rocking. I believe NASCAR's getting back to where, where it once was. But, buddy, I'll tell you what. That was a long 20 years. I don't want to go through that ever again. All right, everybody, that's it. We're going to be at, at uh, Rusty Wallace Kia dealership today doing a little radio show. John Scatoni, my dear friend, the, the pilot of the Cirrus. This is where Cirruses are built, the, uh, the airplanes. We're going to go into their gift shop, and then we're going to take off and head on over to Bristol, be with my friends uh, Chris and Tyler Colley. That's k &L Ready Mix. And we'll be staying where we all stay, right across the street in the condos. Going to be a great time. For us, about two, two full days here at Bristol. We'll be in the, we'll be in the garage area, uh, and we'll be checking everybody out. All right, until next time.